there's a lot of preparation visually. I'm really, really particular. So I often will like either draw out where, you know, how I want the camera, where I want the camera, or, you know, I'll use clips from other movies or other scenes that I'm really, really into as examples and create the beginnings of something and then allow the professionals to kind of really jump in and tighten it up and make it, make it what it should be. For this piece, the initial intention was to tell kind of, you know, a handful of stories, kind of exploring the hope and desperation in Los Angeles, using Los Angeles as the backdrop, and using the music to kind of illustrate the dynamic of hope and desperation in different circumstances. I essentially wrote the, the general synopsis, and Toby jumped in and built it out. This was mostly all steady cam. It was more wanting to make sure that there were moments where the shots were picturesque, you know, or, or just well framed, even if it was just for a moment. The last visual I did for Kaleidoscope Dreams was for a song called How Many Drinks. I like had storyboards of like how I wanted that to be shot and edited a lot of it myself. I engineer my own sessions, like I record myself as well. And it might be that spirit, just knowing that I could probably execute it faster as opposed to trying to explain it. It's been a learning process. I've, I've you know, been learning what words are the best ways to describe how you want the camera to move and things like that. I think it's, it's a, a really fun part of the whole process. <laughs>